Hello everyone and welcome if this is your first time here, a very big welcome if you're returning well, a very big welcome back and I hope to do something that'll make you smile and something that'll help you, that'll make you hit that subscribe button and stay a while. So we, today we are playing the Doors of Trithith. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know, because I still, eh. Eh, with my accent, who knows anyway. So, what is this? This is a roguelike. And it goes back, it reminds me a lot of... Castle of the Winds. Which, if you don't know, Castle of the Winds was like from 93 or 80 something. Anyway, it was a long, long time ago. And it was like one of the first roguelite dungeon crawlers I ever played. And if I could find a working copy, I'd probably play that as well. So we got, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight classes that you can play. We can play the mercenary. Starts with a movement penalty and energy penalty because they're being slapped a time or two. They start with two to two combat straights, a physical straight. They get dreadheart, which is essentially life steal, and you get two minor skills. You start with a two-handed weapon and a heavy armor weapon. Street urchin, basically you're a thief. So you get movement speed. Less health, I mean, you're a thief. You do start with a with five points in athletics, which is good. And you get, you start off with Rogue's Gambit, which gives you a 12% dodge chance. Start off with a one hand weapon and two light armor. The Hunter, basically the Ranger. Uh, you start off with either a bow or a crossbow. Um, you do get plus eight accuracy to ranged weapons and a five percent chance to recover your ammo. If you start in survival, survival reduces your hunger rate, and um, you can use that to uh, get increased healing, like regeneration and stuff like that. Start with a campsite, which will make you let you have a bed anywhere. That will come important, and you get a ranged weapon and light armor. And then we have the brawler, basically the monk. Basically, do you like to punch things? He's for you. Starts off with no weapons, no armor. It starts off with nothing. But he does get 20 health, 20 energy. He's a little slower because he's big and bulky. Works out at the gym too much. Doesn't doesn't spend enough time on the speed bag. We have the squire. The squire is basically a knight. Um, start off with chivalry. Basically, chivalry. The bonuses you can get for that is mostly defense and offense. Um, stuff like. Uh, Increased minimum min max damage, that sort of thing. Uh, you just start off with Knight's nice Grace, which gives you a 15 attack speed, a one hand weapon, a shield, and a heavy armor weapon. We've got the Traveler. Eh, the Traveler. The Traveler's weird. It really is. Um, basically, you get worse prices. You do. You do level up faster because you do get a 7% across the board. And this is sort of like um, Skyrim, Daggerfall-ish. The more you use it, the more you learn sort of thing. And that's basically how you level up in the game. But you get a skill in travel, which helps you through the world map. Um, basically, with that, you can uh, get bonuses in that so that you don't get ambushed and stuff like that. Start off with a map, three potions, a one-handed weapon, and a light armor. The chef, well, you're a cook. You start off with a meat cleaver, and an apron, and a couple of recipes. You start off with five skill in cooking. You get a 10% chance to not consume materials when you're cooking. So basically... You get a 10% chance for a food rebate because you can keep the scraps. Belly laugh, um, basically 20 turns of wound resist. And then we have the druid. The druid starts with nature magic. Um, basically, I think I played that once and I really didn't like it. I mean, I got a... Um, 
What was it? I got an eagle pet. Basically, you can summon summon creatures and um, you can bond with them. Bonding with them makes it so they're not summoned and they're like real and they'll hang around and they'll do a fight for you. I tend to go for the mercenary or the chef. Just because the idea of running around with a meat cleaver beating people is, sort of seems fun to me. But we're going to go the mercenary. So we do start off with Dreadheart, and I'm going to make him a smart mercenary because he's going to start with read. These are basically all the skills that you can get. Uh, quarter mastery, basically fix, repair, um, tear things apart, athletics. Movement speed, bouncing around, medicine, making bandages and that, alchemy, making potions, survival, a lot of that has to do with hunger rate and that, and you do get hungry in this game, enchanting, well it's pretty self-explanatory, cooking explanatory, and botany is harvesting mushrooms and berries and stuff like that. <coughs> I think we're gonna go... A quarter mastery. Yeah, and now we get to pick traits. With this one, we get two combat and a physical trait. I usually go crippling attacks for the cripple chance, 15%. And. Because we're going to have a big two hander, I'm going to go accuracy. And. Regen. So, we're going to call it Matt the Mercenary. And let's go. So, this is us. The uh, characters are uh, Ragdoll, so. Or Ragdoll? Paper Doll. I think it's called Paper Doll, isn't it? I'm not the smartest of cookies. Every time something new happens, you will get a thing up here that will tell you what to do. So, we start off with a grain flail. Some cotton legs and some gauntlets. So down here is where all, everything is. You got your uh, stats. Basically, uh, there's a fair bit, and this builds up as you go along. Like uh, we have nine percent physical resist right now. This will tell you your level, how tired you are. If this hits 100% when you're out in the wilderness, you wake up naked and uh, the animals have their fun with you. Magic, I haven't unlocked any magic yet. This is where the game gets really fun. So skills. Skills, as you level up, you will get a focus point each level. Focus points can be spent on passives or in this case, battle trance, we have to get. And we'll go multi strike. And multi strike, because I don't. I love hitting things more than once. That's all of our focus points is gone there. You can also get a knockback, bleed, but I got a bludgeon weapon, so bleed me. These are basically 10% so to physical. Bleed, crit, and uh, range. These four here will bounce off this one, so you gotta take this one. This one will build up as you put these into them. Reading, I'll gen I generally take these two. The first one will allow you to find more books. The second one will give you a 25 point hunger advice and 5%, basically 5% um, experience gain for everything. And quarter mastery because bread weighs half a pound each. I take that, and bread weighs 0.15 pound each. And I'm going to save the rest. <laughs> yeah, 
And we have the weapon masteries would have their own tab. Basically, as you use weapons, you'll gain the experience. Flails. <clears throat> um, so right now I have one point to use here. 5% experience gain on everything. And... I think these will cost... So we're going to leave them. Okay, so 10 minutes into the video and I haven't done Jack. So if you've hung around this long, thank you very much. And now let's get into the game. So basically you use your mouse. You move along. The fluffy funny snake. Spacebar will skip the turn. Basically allows them to get a little part closer. If you do loot something like the cupboards, it'll show the cupboards open. Barrels, it'll open the barrels to show that you've already looked there. Things like cooking and that you will learn by going to a station. And then once we level up, we will be able to learn something new. Poison is a pain in the ass in this game if you get poisoned. You're going to end up with, um, basically there's a limited chance that it will go by itself. So, basically, you got to, like, run through. This is a bed. Once this meter here, which is your wisdom, reaches full, you can go to sleep and basically learn a new skill while you're asleep. One thing I don't like is stuff like this where it will get into the point where it'll be under your character so you can't see it. That is a fountain that will restore 20 health. Skill, focus points. And of course I'm poisoned. Let's see here now I have two poisons. One antidote will cover that though. Up here you are your status effects, either um passive, proactive sort of things. Right now I say I'm hungry, so I'll eat a bread. This is down to the next level. That door's locked. I have yet to find out how to unlock locked doors in this game. poisoned again because well why not and I'm always dead uh, we'll eat some wedgies and some bread should pretty much oh we got a level so this is how you level basically you rest if you're tired which will be, I clicked the wrong button. It will be like the travel weariness, that sort of thing. But if you deep sleep, you dream that either you have found a clay pot which contains a secret to the world. Unable to open it, you decide to carry it with you, but every step you take causes to shrink in size. Soon is too tiny to see it all. Since your last dream, you gained 13 wisdom from medicine, 18 from slaying monsters, and we accumulated one skill point. So, you can either put the point into one that you already know, or you can get a new one. I am going to unlock cooking. Because who doesn't like to cook? And cooking, basically you'll pick up recipes as you go along, and each recipe needs a different skill, like peeling potatoes, boiling eggs, or preparing meat. We will prepare the meats. Okay. Do I have any meats? I have meats. As you can see, I don't have boiling, so I can't do eggs. I don't have peeling for potatoes. 
but I do have meat prep for a roasted haunch. I think that's a piece of meat, isn't it? Or just a roasted piece of meat. Okay. So oh, let's go down to floor two. Starting dungeon has four floors. It has like three they have to actually fight through, and then there's one that is just like a gimme get a um treasure. More raw meats. Might help if I use my skill. Things might go a little better if I use my increased damage. Everything is based on turns. You take your turn. Basically, they'll take their turn at the same time. So it does pause if you're not moving. Just loodles everything like good little monkey. Sneak up there. Did take water master, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Might also help if I hit the right button. So this is quarter mastery. This is you can craft, you can salvage. I don't need these, so I'm gonna salvage those. And if you win your items get damaged, you can repair them. Okay, keep looking, 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 looking. Got a centipede. Oh, did I get a skill? Oh, yeah, I got a skill. So I got another skill point in bludgeons. Weapon experience. Flails 8, Flails 9, Flails 11, Flails 6. Hey, everything is level gated as well for each thing. But now we have the wind up ability, which gives us plus damage, plus accuracy, and a stun chance. Instant kill. Forty damage. Let's eat some foodies. Oh, and you can stack that too. And it will go each turn, sort of thing. So you can, if you're in a really big battle, that actually works really good. Um, there's a AOE. That basically it does like the three in, the three tiles in front of you sort of thing. Which, I mean, you can wind that up and dump it on them. Okay, so I'm just going to take you so that we can go and maybe see the city. Some enemies will fight each other. Basically, if they don't like each other, they will attack each other and basically... Oh, this one spits at me. Get back here, you coward. Where is it? I thought I had another antidote. Do I not have another antidote? Oh, we're a little, um... We're about to be a little boned. We're boned. 
<laughs> okay, so uh, I didn't get to see it. Share the city actually. Uh... Where's Trev the Traveler at? Oh, we'll go back and I'll show you the city. This is my Trev the Traveler. This is what the city looks like. Uh, basically the shops, the specialty shops will buy specialty items. There's always these little merchants here, traveling merchants. They will have special things. Things are pricey. Um, <coughs> there will be a job board and if you go visit these NPCs, they will give you basically little quests that you can do and if you do the quest you, you get money experience sort of thing uh, there's an inn that's the inn there's usually a bed you can lay in I think that lights up if you got a level there uh, this one I'm almost at level four in maces what does he got he's got he's got a hammer and I took reading. Reading, I got 25 experience points. Uh, did I already finish that book? Nope. Okay, so uh, as you pick up books, books are going to be done at a certain level. And basically, you'll get experience as you're reading them. It takes time. You basically just start reading and walk off. And uh, you'll read it basically as you go along. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you've liked what you see, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stick around for a bit, and have a good one.